Okay. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be reading uh, the recently finished extended cut for pre for the uh, first chapter of my prequels for the the hidden powers. And um, yeah, we'll see what uh, see how how you like it, I guess. Um, Anyway, here we go. Narrator. Three years before Isaac got powers from the Kryptonian memory crystal in 2029, he and Skylar were actually married and would be together for time and all eternity. They went camping as a couple in 2026. Uh, Skylar. I'm feeling adventurous, babe. Let's go fishing to get our lunch. Are you go okay with going to fish, babe? It's 10:30 a.m. If it's all if it all goes well with the fishing, we could catch enough fish for both of us to have lunch and dinner today. Isaac Skywalker slash me. Um, I rebranded a little bit from my actual last name to Skywalker. Um, sure, babe, let's do it. Could we either bring a breakfast with us or eat before we start? Skylar Skywalker. Yeah, let's eat before we start and bring snacks with us. So while we wait for the fish to bite our lines, we can munch on, on treats ourselves. Me. Sounds like a good plan, Skylar. What would, or what should we take for snacks, Lovey? Skylar, how about we bring almonds and sliced apples? Would that be okay, dear? Me. Sure, babe. I'll slice us each two apples. Could you fill two sandwich bag, size bags halfway with almonds, darling? Narrator. 20 minutes later, after a, a couple of peanut butter croissant sandwiches, peanut butter sandwiches made out of croissants, uh, for breakfast and the packing of a snack, another 10 minute, minutes later, in a modest sized fishing boat, average sized sailboat, basically, that's what I mean by modest sized fishing boat. Um, anyway, uh, me. Okay, our fishing poles are secure and our lines are awaiting a nibble. Want to play some card games while or after we eat since we have cards in the main cabin of our boat? Skylar, sure. What card game should we play? Me, how about some Uno? Skylar, I could use some simpler victories. Sure, Uno it is. Me, simpler victories, huh? We'll see about that, beautiful. <laughs> Narrator. Ten minutes later, Isaac gets up to check the fishing poles to see if, if he or Skylar had caught anything yet. Each line had a good-sized fish on it when when he reeled them in and put them in a large cooler of ice. Mysterious voice from the future. What are you two doing? This camping trip is one is when I was conceived, but you're just fishing and playing Uno. I'm Sky... I'm Sky Skywalker, by the way. Uh, on my 19th birthday, I was given a localized time travel device and thought I'd come, come visit you two from when my origin story begins. Me and Skylar... Sky Skywalker, you say? When did you come from other than your 19th birthday, apparently? It's nice to meet your 19-year-old self, Sky. What year is it where you, where you come from? Here is 2026. Sky Skywalker, I come from the year 2045. I'm not allowed to spoil anything beyond what I've already shared with you with the two of you. Because And she quotes Doctor Strange here. If I tell you what happens, 
it won't happen. So says Doctor Strange to Iron Man, a.k.a. Tony Stark, in Avengers 4 Endgame. Your heart rates are both elevated, indicating that my appearance here, while happy, is unsettling because you don't have time travel outside of sci-fi sci settings yet. I need to get back to 2045 before I mess anything up. Goodbye, I love you both 3000. Me. Wait a minute, Sky. Don't go yet. We're very happy to see you. To meet you. We both love you 3000 too, right, babe? Skylar. Yeah, that's right. I love you 3000, darling. You're very beautiful. Me. I second that. You are very beautiful, sweetheart. Narrator. Before more could be said beyond Sky thanking younger versions of her parents for the compliments she left back. She left back to her own point in the timeline. Skylar, that was amazing. Time travel will become real in the... Wait a minute. 2045 is exactly 19 years away. And she said she, she came on from her 19th birthday in 2045. That would mean we're pregnant with, with a daughter now. And she'll be due very soon. Because it's May of 2026 right now. And... I wonder what future information she was worried about sharing with us. Any ideas, Isaac, my love? Whatever it was, she felt Doctor Strange that Doctor Strange wouldn't want us to know know it for Avengers 4 endgame reason related reasons. That has me more than a little scared, babe. Um, me. I wonder why Sky didn't know that you're you were already pregnant when she got here. I could tell you were pregnant from when you, we watched our movie last night and I laid across your stomach, honey. I felt a kick. Which I think means you must be far enough along for that to happen, wouldn't it? Did, did you know you were pregnant already, babe? Skylar. Yeah, I kind of guessed as much with the strange cravings I've had lately. Like almonds and apples. Narrator. Two weeks later, after the camping trip had, en had ended and Isaac and Skylar had had a futuristic vis visitation, they were on their way to the to a checkup for Skylar. Skylar, I'm about five or six months along now, I'm guessing, right, Doc? Dr. Murphy from the Good Doctor series. You are almost six and a half months pregnant now. All all is well with you and your child. Congratulations, Isaac and Skylar Skywalker. Would you like me to reveal the gender of your of the baby, or do you want to wait until it is delivered to know what it is? Me. Actually, we already know what we already know we're having a daughter, and we have a name picked out for her. Her name is gonna be Sky Skywalker. Doctor Murphy. Do you have autism, sir? The way you said that sounded like sounded like the way I often in, ex, say and explain things that very few other people would be able to figure out as quickly as I did. Skylar. Yes, he is autistic, like you, Dr. Murphy. Thank you for very much for your confidentiality, doctor. Us knowing the gender of our baby without you telling us has to remain a secret from everyone here at St. Bonaventure Hospital, please. Narrator, three months later, back at St. Bonaventure Hospital in San Jose, California, in the delivery room. Dr. Murphy, here's your, be your beautiful and healthy baby girl. Congratulations, you're both parents now. Is she your first kid? Me. Yeah, she's our firstborn. Skylar. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Murphy. You're great. Dr. Murphy. I know. I'm a good doctor. Thank you for your compliments, Skylar. Narrator. Two and a half years later, in Seattle, Washington, where Isaac found himself in a demolition site. Me. That looks like a Kryptonian memory crystal from the Fortress of Solitude. I wonder what that... What I wonder what it's doing here. I puzzled to my, myself, to myself as a sudden surge of power flows over 
me as well as Skylar and Sky, who were back at home in Tacoma at the time. That was super weird, but kind of cool. Narrator. Another two and a half years later, Isaac and Skylar are bringing home their second shot, second daughter, Lois. Me. I'm gonna, I'm going, eh. I'm gonna erase the Flash and Quicksilver. They want to give me a run for my money. Run is in all caps because they're speedsters, but they run a lot. It's kind of their superpower. Uh, run for my money. Speed pun really intended. Quicksilver almost beat me, but I ran so fast I went back in time to the Jurassic era, or in other words, the year not nine million years before Christ. And then I ran forward in time to the year 15 after Dissension, or AD, uh, where I met a 15-year-old version of Jesus, and to that point in his life, all the stories about him were true. So yeah, that is chapter one of my prequels, um, which means that technically previously when, I, when I've when i read chapters here for extended cuts, that they've technically been four, five, and six, because the first nine, nine chapters are set up uh, to mirror the original trilogy, prequel trilogy, and sequel trilogy of Star Wars. So, um, yeah, there you go. That is um, prequel chapter one. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, this chapter used to be um, not even a full page, and now it's like three and a half, or two and a half, or two and three quarters pages or something like that. So definitely qualifies as an extended cut, unlike the, the previous chapter uh, that I read, chapter three, which is um, still two pages and was two pages beforehand. So I didn't add as much to that one as I did this. And um, this one's actually um, a large departure from the original prequel chapter one, which I may or may not end up reading on my channel at some point after I maybe after I finish the first nine chapters. Um, but I need to make more extended cuts before I can do that. So that is it for this video, and it's uh, close to dinner time, so I'm probably gonna get some food. I'm starting to get kind of hungry. Uh, catch you in the next video. Bye.